Hey, what's up, everybody? It's been a, quite a while since I did an update, but I had a special request to do a little video of my Fahaka Puffers tank. So I figured I'd go ahead and show it off a little bit. Uh, it's been, I think last time I showed him, he was probably, God, probably like two, three inches or something. He's a little bit over a foot now, uh, about three years old. Uh, yeah, this, he's in a 135-gallon tank now. I think the last time I showed him, he was in a 150-gallon um, which I had to end up moving him because I forgot I moved some things around and he just ended up over here It was easier to put him here and I didn't want to move him again Plus it'll be quite a while for you ever outgrows this tank if he ever actually does because I don't think in my Any of my fish keeping experience. I've seen a Fahaka actually reach full size yet um, Yeah, like I said thanks 135 gallons. Um, I did put some plants in here I tried plants on them a long time ago, and they didn't work. He just decided he didn't eat them, but he just decided to chew them all up and spit them all over the tank. Uh, but so far what I have in here with him that has been working is the java fern. I have uh, java moss. Um, there's actually up there some busa philandra, and it's faring pretty well. Um, there's a, gosh, a type of anubius there. I can't remember the name of it now. He's taken a couple of chunks out of that, but it seems to be faring okay. Um... The substrate in here is it's a, it's a mixture. Um, it is let's see pretty much 75%. Um, it's the Quick Creek pool filter sand, and then the black sand. I don't remember the name of it, but I got it from one of the local fish stores. It's one of the aquarium brands, so you know it's overpriced. But um, I believe it's something like yeah, 75% to 25%. So. It gave me a nice little mixture. I'll try to zoom in a little bit. It um, so pretty much any fish that I've had in here, it's tend to help them show off their coloration a little bit better without getting overly dark, which does tend to happen with like really dark substrate. This seemed to be a pretty good mix. Um, so like he, he seemed to you know stay colored up pretty good. He always has his stripes out, you know, looking nice. Um, I have seen them in black, you know, black substrate, and they seem to get really, really dark and blotchy. And uh, I have seen some that didn't, but a majority of them have. And in white, or you know, natural color, which I have had him in before, um, he still had his stripes pretty decently. Cause, uh, I still think at the end of the day, it still kind of comes down to genetics. But they do show off better and more constantly um, in this, you know, with this setup. Uh, there's uh, not really too much to say about it. Um, I have, uh, let's see, I think there's 12 or 13 black neon tetras in here. I did have a few um, rasboras in here also at one point, but uh, one day I just noticed a few that were in there randomly missing. I don't know when he got them, but apparently he got them. He doesn't even really try for these. Every once in a while he'll kind of like chase at it a little bit just to let them know he's still the boss, but he's never caught one. But uh, yeah, he's getting you know getting big. He's slowed down on growing a lot. He hasn't really grown much lately. Uh, we'll do some more updates on him here as I get a chance, as well as some of my other tanks. But uh, let me keep this short, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.